Welcome to the launch of our newest project, the project of the Ministry of the Arts and Multiculturalism. We're here to talk about time. The Trinidad and Tobago Interactive Music Expo. But we'll keep you in suspense just a little bit, because first I want to tell you about some of the accomplishments and some of the things and the amazing work that the ministry has been doing over the last year. I want to begin with a brief review of our activities from 2012. It was a very big year for us. We helped Trinidad and Tobago celebrate its 50th anniversary of independence. <laughs> Now, we kicked off the year with our pilot Calypso Tent Enhancement Project. Uh, this dealt with audience development initiative under which we provided the classic Russo Calypso Tent with funding, artistic consultation, event management support, and the aim of steering the tent towards self-sufficiency. The results were astonishing. Audiences' attendance in the past used to be about 15%. And with the help, uh, it was about 75%. So we thought that was a great success. Then it was on to, to the program we call Pan on a Higher Note. It was the official opening event of Trinidad and Tobago's 50th anniversary celebrations. And Pan on a Higher Note featured Trinidad and Tobago's National Steel Symphony Orchestra, which is administered by the Ministry of the Arts and Multiculturalism. This is an ensemble that is composed of audition players, many of whom are university trained, who represents the best combination of technique and literacy among steel band players in Trinidad and Tobago. Simply put, there's no better steel symphony orchestra in the world.
introduce Wasafoli Sumba as part of the performances at the National Academy of, for the Performing Arts for the 50th anniversary independence celebrations. This full-length folk ballet delighted audiences who were enthralled by the unique dance performances. 2012 was the year of our national song competition, an open style music competition which aimed to facilitate original compositions of all genres of music. It was also the year that we partnered with the Trinidad and Tobago Film Company to produce the 2012 Trinidad and Tobago Short Film Festival. And who can forget our red, white, and black parade? Held, of course, on August the 30th, 2012, as the ministry's 50th anniversary showcase came to a close. This fantastic street parade and festival featured traditional and contemporary masks, dressed mainly in red, white, and black. steel band, tassa, drums, and rhythm sections. Well, it has been a tremendously productive few years for the ministry. A lot has been going on behind the scenes as we focus on policy development, capacity building, the performing arts company development, international outreach, and heritage preservation. Of course, many of the ministry's achievements have been visible to all. We kept our efforts to preserve and promote the incredibly rich cultural heritage of Trinidad and Tobago via a series of detailed, interactive, educational exhibitions. Our National Festival and National Days Exhibition Series. In the year 2012 to 2013 alone, the Ministry's Culture Division mounted more than seven exhibitions across Trinidad and Tobago. This series focused on Diwali, Christmas, Carnival, Spiritual Shouter Baptist Liberation Day, Indian Arrival Day, and Emancipation Day. Thousands of visitors to our shores were greeted with insights into our heritage when they arrived at the ANR National Airport and the Piaco International Airport. Now, we are also exceedingly proud of the ministry's evolution of the Steel Pan Exhibition. We took the evolution of the Steel Pan Exhibition on tour. First to China in 2010, then as the centerpiece of our 50th anniversary exhibit at the North Atrium of the Piaco Airport, and then to Suriname for Trinidad and Tobago's showcase at Carifesta, Carifesta 11 last year. Uh, the roving evolution of the steel pan exhibition translated into Mandarin, also represented at the ninth annual International Folk Arts Fair in the People's Republic of China, in September of 2013, where it was very, very warmly received. Interest in the evolution of the Steel Pan exhibition remains high, and we are looking forward to getting this exhibition to more schools in 2014. Of course, if you have a school and you would like us to come, we'd be delighted to see how we can facilitate your request. And over the past three years, as part of the ministry's program of cultural exchanges, we hosted 10 10 cultural exchanges in Trinidad. There were cultural exchanges with China. We have three exchanges with China and with India, one with the US, 
two with Nigeria and one with Colombia. And these cultural exchanges and performances are usually open to the public and they have received excellent response. Of course, as I mentioned before, much of the important work that we do is practically invisible to the public. So it is, so it is with one of these major projects we continued with this year, and that is safeguarding, the safeguarding of our intangible cultural heritage of Trinidad and Tobago. Our intangible cultural heritage includes the traditions and the living ex expressions we have inherited from our ancestors and passed on to our descendants. For example, our oral traditions, festive events, performing arts, the knowledge and skills to produce traditional craft. Intangible cultural heritage is a fragile and important factor in maintaining cultural diversity in the face of gr growing globalization. And understanding our intangible cultural heritage, it helps us with in intercultural dialogue and encourages mutual respect. In addition, last year, the Ministry collaborated with the National Commission for UNESCO and the UNESCO Kingston Cluster of Office to hold this country's first community-based inventory and workshop. This was an eight-day workshop and was a significant step in safeguarding the living heritage of Trinidad and Tobago. I'm also very pleased to report that we have progressed apace with the rollout of the Remember When Institute which is intended to serve as a repository of Trinidad and Tobago's entire intangible cultural heritage. The Institute, which you can now visit online through our Cultural Division portal, is a physical repository for material which is distinctly Trinbagonian, from thousands of audiovisual items to manuscripts and photographs which can be found nowhere else. We have also placed significant emphasis on capacity building, organizational strengthening. A fine example is the ministry's mentoring by the master's program, which aims to facilitate the transfer of knowledge from the senior accomplished artists and musicians to new and upcoming artists in their respective fields while honoring these mentors in the process. Our mentoring series is called The Art of Success. And in early 2013, it allowed the mentoring by five accomplished artists, cultural workers, from about 75 developing practitioners in their respective fields. And on April 17, 2013, we paid tribute and awarded all of our mentors in a very nice award ceremony. Now, another capacity building initiative was our interactive seminar towards the building of successful national artistic cultural organizations. And this was held in 2013. This was as a result of an arrangement between the Ministry of the Arts and Multiculturalism and the Divorce Institute, which came out of the Kennedy Center of the USA. And what they did was conducted training for national organizations in the cultural sector. We decided on this program because we understand the importance of national organizations to cultural development and the challenges they face in properly running these organizations themselves. A total of 22 national organizations in the culture sector participated in these sessions, which involved tuition and private consultation with the visiting team. Now, the ministry has also been intensively involved in supporting and developing culture at the community level. One achievement that I am particularly proud of is our cultural camps. We held 51 of these cultural camps um, throughout Trinidad and Tobago. And this, the goal of this program is to support a culture of peace through enabling communities to create cultural legacies by providing meaningful developmental activity for young persons.
also saw the rebranding of the music school in the Paniyal, which has now become music school in the community program. And we will be expanding this in the coming years to music in the community, and we'll be going to correctional institute, we'll be going to music school, we'll be going to children homes, music in the community. of this program trained a total of 274 students in six schools. Training included musicianship across several wind, string, percussion instruments, including, of course, the steel pan, as well as music literacy, professional development, and life skills training. I must tell you, there's a considerable demand and acclaim for this program. In June of 2013, the Ministry of the Arts and Multiculturalism introduced the National Philharmonic Orchestra to the public. Let's give the Philharmonic Orchestra some love. This is an ensemble of trained musicians, and we've brought them together, rehearsing symphonic repertoire of classical music in September. And after 20 rehearsal sessions, the ensemble presented their work in progress on December the 2nd, 2013, in an exquisite performance pictured right here. In the meantime, our cultural industries team has been hard at work, and they're working on the expansion of our ministry's national registry of artists and cultural workers. As of now, we have more than 200 registrants. And this was launched in February of 2011. The National Registry of Artists and Cultural Workers is an opportunity open to nationals of Trinidad and Tobago to support and advance the cultural sector. Now this program is very important and it has some significant aims. First of all, it facilitates access to tax breaks and tax incentives for those who support the arts. Secondly, it puts you as an artist on a database so that you can have access to resources and other type of artistic um, support. It helps Trinidad and Tobago artists. It gives them access to all the various cultural arrangements we have with other markets around the world, the Caribbean single market and economy and other European markets. So it's very important if you're an artist here to be part of the National Registry of Artists. Police state in town. Police state in town. It's big snake in town. The cultural industry team has also worked to create new incentives to participate in the registry, such as our arrangement with Trinidad Tunes, which provides added benefits for registered applicants in the music industry. Now, we're getting the registry out into the public domain with another project, our contract with KMP Music Lab. And you like this one, in the support of their project called Building the Beats. Now, this project aims to do what? Improve the quality of music production in Trinidad and Tobago in an innovative twist. We are using a reality television series to do so. And soon you will see this um, series on TV. 2013 also saw the commencement of a collaboration between Audio Engineering Society to expose local song providers to the finest 
and internationally recognized sound engineers. Actually, they are here today. And this collaboration will continue with a special collaborative tutor tutorials throughout the carnival season. We have a bunch of internationally renowned sound technicians will be here working with all the live, live sound technicians in Trinidad and Tobago. That deserves a round of applause. I'm sure you will agree it's been an exhilarating and a productive period for the Ministry of Arts and Multiculturalism. But ladies and gentlemen, we're not resting on our laurels. We have been reviewing our programming. We have been re-strategizing because our desire to further fulfill our mandate and create the enabling environment that allows not only the artist to flourish, but all of us as Trinbagonians an opportunity to fully express ourselves. To this end, therefore, we have even rebranded our organization and we will now unveil to you our new logo. All these represents the intertwining colors of our nation. With our brand new logo, the Ministry of the Arts and Multiculturalism. Run the rhythm, let the whole world know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Run the rhythm, let the whole world know. Run the rhythm, let the whole world know. Let the whole world know. Good evening. So good to be alive. Run the rhythm, let the whole world know. Living and divine. So good to be alive. Run the rhythm, let the whole world know. 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 Run the rhythm, let the whole Run the rhythm, let the whole world know how you feel it, feel it, yeah. Run the rhythm, let the whole world know how you feel it, feel it inside. Run the rhythm, let the whole world know and it's so good, it's so good to be alive. Alive in the rhythm, alive in the power, alive in the vibes every minute, every hour. Alive with the knowledge, the knowledge of self. Alive and feeling good about myself. Alive in the here, alive in the now, alive in the truth, got to make it somehow. In the vibes, alive in the rhythm, alive in love with life and living. Run the rhythm, let the whole world know, and let the whole world know yeah, it's so good yeah, to be yeah. alive. Run the rhythm, let the whole world know, and let the whole world know you're yeah. living in the vibe. Run the rhythm, let the whole world know, and let the whole world know it's so good to be alive. Run the rhythm, let the whole world know, and let the whole world know it's so good to be alive. Run the rhythm, let the whole world know how you feel and feel it. Good to be alive. Run the rhythm, let the whole world know how you feel and feel it. Living in the vibe. Run the rhythm, let the whole world know how you feel and feel it. So good. Is the rhythm we want? 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 Is the
fall behind a woman and start to whine. It's the rhythm we want. And run the rhythm, let the hobble know how you feel it. It's the rhythm we want. And run the rhythm, let the hobble know. It's the rhythm we want. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for time. Anybody here from South Trinidad? Who from North? Who from Central? I want to see all the flags go so. All the flags. Wave it up. Wave it up. Wave it up. Everybody sing. I'm doing everything. Sing everywhere. On the road. I want to hear the voices. I'm only frolicking. Everywhere. What's I go? Like it's my duty. To get on wild and wassy. Turn over every party. Yeah. And nobody can Only ready to take a drop. Eyes are drinker to me. A whiner to me. Eyes are to me. A masquerader to me. When you're thinking that a. I know that. When you're thinking that a. I know that. If they tell we come on the road. You know what's saying? Like it's my duty to get on wild and wassy. You look like you want to dance, you know. Give me something smaller. Smaller than this one. Nobody can stop it. Start to drop right now. Eyes are drinker to me. A whiner to me. Eyes are fetter to me. A masquerader to me. When you're thinking that I don't. The Ministry of the Arts and Multiculturalism, as part of its many developmental initiatives, is very proud to introduce this exciting and innovative project. Time is the Trinbago Interactive Music Expo. It will be held from February 27th to March 2nd, 2014, designed to bring musicians and other practitioners of the creative industry in contact with industry professionals from around the world. Time is the first of a three-year series of expos aiming to nurture our contemporary artists and cultural workers in the necessary skills to allow them to create at their highest levels. Whilst Time 2014 will focus on the music industry, future expos will address the development of theatre, dance, fashion, literature and the visual arts. The objectives of Time are to provide musicians and artists with the opportunity to present to and network with creative industry professionals from around the world, to expose artists to potential signing deals for entry into global markets, to provide musicians and artists with solid advice related to advancement in the creative industry, to create a platform between local and foreign creative markets, and to develop audiences for new music and creative products. During the heart of the carnival season, an all-star lineup of international music executives will share in the splendor of this national festival. They are Marie Odogé of the Olympia Agency of Universal Records France, current recording agent for Michel Montano and KMC. Bernard Batson is a founding partner of Azimuth Productions and the touring agent for Calypso Rose. Pascal Bossé, from Harmonia Mundi of France, is the artistic director for World Village and specialist in contemporary music. And music scout Jacob Edgar of Kumbacha and Putamayo of the USA travels the world in search of music for the label's compilations. Simply fill out a registration form, upload or post a link to your three best singles, Upload a two-minute video profile or a one-page bio and submit photos and videos of promotional performance images. There'll be a local panel of industry experts to select six finalists, but everyone who applies wins. 
and in keeping with the ministry's developmental initiatives and to contribute to artistic excellence, the six finalists will attend a two-day retreat in voice and musicianship, performance and stagecraft and styling and branding. They will be afforded the opportunity to perform at showcases at Normandy Under the Trees on February 27th and Tassa Fet on Sunday 2nd March at Queen's Hall. All registrants benefit from the Time Seminar on Friday 28th February and Time Speed Dating on Saturday 1st March where one-on-one -on -one 15 minute sessions with industry executives will give you the chance to get signed. So, for further information, visit www.culture.gov.tt or call 625-6962 or 6274991. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for time? Four, three, two, one, time. Are you feeling like it's carnival time? Uh -huh. eh? uh -huh. It's a brand new song. Brand new song, Chicken Island 2014. Let me go. It coming, it coming, it coming, it coming, it coming, it coming. Lord, oh Lord, so long I've been waiting, waiting for this moment in time, waiting, hoping, anticipate. Lord, oh Lord, it's carnival time. Lord, oh Lord, so long I've been waiting, waiting for this moment in time, waiting, hoping, anticipating. Lord, oh Lord, it's carnival time. Carnival coming. Don't walk, but don't walk. I don't want to walk Carnival come in Come in, come in Don't ask me to walk for Carnival I don't want to walk Everywhere the place in a frenzy Everywhere the people are vibes Everywhere is endless energy Everywhere the people are alive Everybody liking itself Everybody having a time Everybody pump up and ready Lord, Lord, it's Carnival time It's a living ritual A living festival Love is in the air Feel the love in the atmosphere It's a living ritual A living festival Everybody pump up and ready Everybody get it Come in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't ask me to walk. I don't want to walk. Can I walk? Come in. Come in. Come in. Hey. Don't ask me to walk for carnival. I don't want to walk. It's a living ritual. Carnival is back and up. These are two days of frenzy. The whole world envy. We read them and we fight. How oh, it link up all the tribes. How oh, it link up everybody. In real unity is a living ritual. A living festival. Love is in the air. Feel the love in the atmosphere. It's a living ritual. A living festival. Everybody pump up and ready. Everybody get to prepared. Carnival come in. Don't ask me to walk. walk. Hey. I don't wanna walk. Walk, walk, walk. Carnival come in. Come in. Don't, don't ask me to walk for carnival. I don't wanna walk. From the time the band started launching, carnival fill the atmosphere. All the girls and them started working. All the girls them start to prepare. Everybody join the dance trim. Everybody join in the gym. Everybody tone up and prime. Lord of Lord, it's carnival time. Lord of Lord, I can't wait for Juve. Lord of Lord, it's rhythm and rhyme. Lord of Lord, the Iron Man song it. Lord of Lord, the place come alive. Lord of Lord, I can't wait for Juve. Lord of Lord, it's rhythm and rhyme. Right about now, we time to play. Lord of Lord, it's now time to rhyme. Carnival coming, where the fly, where the fly? Don't ask me to walk, hey. I don't wanna walk. Walk, 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 walk. Carnival coming, coming, coming. Don't ask me to walk for carnival, I don't wanna walk. From Juve morning to last lap, love is in the air, love in the atmosphere. From Juve morning to last lap, love is in the air, love in the atmosphere. Feel it love. Yeah. yeah, man. Carnival coming.